Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So, yeah, I thought it, uh, it's time to do a, uh, a update on my uh, infected uh, orchids with Fusarium. It's now been over a year, a year and two months, something like that. And I actually have a playlist made uh, about this subject. And I'm planning on uh, making this the last video for that playlist. So if it ever comes around the topic, which probably will happen, the Fusarium, I can uh, link people to, uh, to the subject, to this playlist uh, about how I go, uh, go ahead and try to treat my uh, plants with treatment is with uh, quotation marks because I don't use anything else than a clipper and some alcohol. So before we start with the update, um, what I do is I start uh, cutting off bulbs and I will start with the oldest bulbs a uh, bulb uh, from the from the orchid and I cut the rhizome just in front of the bulb and I have a look and if I see a purple a ring I will sterilize my uh, clippers with alcohol and from there I'm going to uh, cut the next bulb and so on so forth so I keep sterilizing it until I see a rhizome that doesn't show a purple ring and you have some footage uh, now from my, uh, one of the first videos um, while I'm talking about this. And I wasn't experienced much with filming then, so I did cut off the bulbs uh, out of uh, screen. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, this is basically what I did. And um, I can uh, have a, a look over here in this side of the greenhouse. Where is my, uh, this is my Elizabeth and Buckleberry bubble film. And I think this is nice just to show you because this has a very long rhizome. So what I basically did, let's pretend this is the oldest growth, which isn't in this case because it has two directions of growth. But I am start with the oldest bulb and I just cut the rhizome here. Have a look. If it's purple, I sterilize my tools, my clippers and cut here. And in this case, because this rhizome is so long, I would start cutting here and there. And if I really had to, I will cut there until I see clean tissue. If I don't see any clean tissue, yes, that means that I will throw the orchid away. But most of the times, well, in, in my case, not most of the times, you never know, of course, but I did um, was left with one bulb and some roots. And that's the update for today. Just a look at those bulbs and how they are doing a, a year after that very uh, hard treatment if you want to put it like that because it's it's not no fun but I don't like chemicals so I will cut I will try uh, to use as less uh, chemicals in my uh, in my uh, greenhouse and with my orchids so yeah I just cut in um, like I said and it's a very rough treatment but I think it works so let's start with the update um, so yeah we had here in the back is the uh, yeah this is the festival we'll have a look at it later on because we didn't do that uh, in those videos but i already had it gave it the same treatment before i uh, start filming but this is one of them this is the cringe new river let me uh, grab the tag it's a uh, miltasia cross you will see this one in the video as well so that's a good uh, one to start filming with i believe where is my pot try to a tag. And so what we see here, yeah, we have some ferns. I have a fern problem. I am not, <laughs> not really a problem, but I just take them out. But uh, let's focus on the roots here. So I was left with two bulbs, and I believe each of them had a start of a new growth. So these, uh, this, this was originally one plant. It's now two. And you can see that they still are growing. And uh, we have some spotting over here. So I'm not sure if that is because... They are not uh, healthy or completely healthy. We have some spotting over there. Could be, but so far, as you can see here, next to uh, my finger, we have some new uh, roots growing. And um, overall, it, it, it is growing, of course. It's not growing very rapidly, but then again, I only had one bulb with a new growth. So much strength in this plant wasn't uh, left there anymore. So, so far, I think it's doing, uh, doing okay. And let me see if I can uh, lift it and we can have a look inside of the pot. Yeah, there we see. 
roots so that's good and we see more roots here i hope you can see it is a little bit hard for me because it's a very nice bright day here but yeah we have roots inside of that pot as well so it should be fine i think it's uh, doing uh, very well considering uh, the circumstances <laughs> but yeah this one probably will not bloom yet i i well, on the other hand, it has some, some roots, so we don't know for sure. We'll, we shall see. But I think this one is going, uh, going uh, towards the right side, and it will start to grow. But I'm not completely um, con uh, convinced because of these spottings over there, but who knows. But so far, a year after, I think, uh, I think we can say it's, so far it's doing well, and it's still uh, recovering. So and next to it, we have... The uh, Miltonia Cloesiae, let me show you the tag. And this one, I think it was about three days ago, I did a up pot this. I give it a bigger pot because this one is really doing well. Same story, same treatment, you will see it in the video. But uh, it's now decided to make uh, two new growths. So yeah, this one is definitely uh, doing very, very well. It's more vigorant than the one we started with. But, um, yeah, that may depends, and you never know how much energy they have left. But this one is looking very strong. Look at that foliage. It's still growing on this growth, and already decided to make uh, two uh, new growths. And these roots, those longer roots, uh, were uh, um, in the older pots, going over the pot, or the edge of the pot, I should say. So therefore, I did uh, pot this one. But look at that. Beautiful. So I know I, I cannot, I don't need to take this out because we don't have any roots on the side of the pot, just like I said, because I just did repot it. But this one looks very promising and I think this one is recovered. It's, it, that foliage, you guys, it's beautiful. It's very stiff, very hard, as it should be. And you can, yeah, basically you can see the energy coming off the plant. It's doing so well. So yeah, it's, I'm so happy, very happy. Then next, and in front of the first two ones, we have the Miltonia Festiva. I didn't film this one because I already had it in my uh, collection before I started filming my orchids. But same story. And this one is deciding to uh, give me a bloom spike. Last year it was the first time it did uh, bloom. And this year it will have at least two spikes. So yeah, I, I think we can uh, consider that this one is uh, doing fairly well and probably healed. Uh, survived the treatment at least uh, you never know for sure of course I, I should then take them out and have a, another look but they are growing so well I don't uh, want to do that and uh, but yeah this one is uh, is really taking off now it also did uh, take quite some time like the one in the back so it took me over two years to get it really growing again so therefore the one the first one we saw I think it will be fine but as, as this one, it took some time because I did take out of a lot of energy uh, because of the, all that cutting of the bulbs. But you can see it's now getting back to a beautiful size. I believe that this one could be a bit bigger, but I'm not sure. I don't uh, see the Festiva much uh, on YouTube with other growers, so I cannot compare it. But yeah, it looks very healthy. It has beautiful new, uh, not new, but a beautiful uh, color. Uh, it has new roots going in the pot, a new growth here, and as we saw, at least two spikes. Let me quickly see. Yeah, I think we have two for now. So, um, yeah, this one is not... Uh, so, yeah, this one is, is uh, if you ask me, it is um, healthy again. And while I was, I was a little bit hesitating because this is an older bulb, and I must admit that still this one does look a little bit bigger um slightly not even that much bigger than the newest one so these new growths should be getting bigger bulbs i think or at least the same size but uh, yeah we, we are getting there i'm sure so from the these three guys we go to number four and this one is a little bit tucked behind the rest here in the back this is uh let me grab the tag for you guys a uh, cross, Miltonia Gold, Goldale Moyer, cross with Candita. So that one was in those videos as well. And let me get some ferns out. So this one, same story. I, I did. Uh, I was left by uh, one bulb with 
uh, well, actually two bowls, I'm sorry. They are separated, it's now two plants with each a new growth. And as you can see, one decided to make another new growth, one new growth, and this one is working on two. And so far, I think that these are looking very healthy. I hope, yeah, the backdrop was a little bit light because the sun is uh, shining quite bright. So I uh, try to uh, get this uh, nicely in, uh, in focus. But um, yeah, on this side, whoops, I hope you can see here, right about there, we have some new roots going inside of the pot. Some are coming out of the pot here. That's okay. Yeah, uh, if this one starts to make new growth, I need to uh, repot this as well. Let's try to get it out of the pot with one hand so I can hold the camera. Whoops. Gently. Yeah, beautiful. I hope, yeah, you can see them, the new roots. Beautiful. And here, this was the ones we were talking about going inside of that new pot. And we have, even have some more here in the back. So, oh, it, I see it's for a second it's hard to make another uh, new growth and then decided to just to uh, leave it with one. That's okay, obviously. Maybe it's a good decision so we could, she could put the energy in that, uh, that new growth there. Let me pull out the fern there. So yeah, beautiful healthy color. Maybe a little bit of spotting there, but I think they always have a little bit of that, some of them at least. But so far, yeah, I'm really happy with the results on this one as well. So we have now four, we checked, they, those are doing beautifully. So, um, and let me put back its neighbor here, like there. So uh, let's have a look at the next one. And those are, are well, at least one of them is uh, sitting uh, underneath the shelf with, again, a lot of ferns. I will take them out later. But anyhow, this is one uh, that was already... Uh, in my collection before I start filming, but same story. And you can see this is a heck of a plant. Um, it's going in two directions <laughs> and it's going crazy. Last year, it was the first time that this one did a bloom for me. And I'm talking about the Mil Miltonia Spectabilis uh, varia variation, Moraliana Royalty. Beautiful purple uh, colored blooms. And we will see them again because we have a spike there. We have a spike here. I have another spike underneath that. That's a spike. Uh, there's a spike. 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 And I believe we have more in the back. Yes, we have a spike here, as you can see. Another spike. And that's a new growth. So yeah, quite some spikes. <laughs> and look at it, it's getting quite big. <laughs> so yeah, I did get it in this shape of pot because it did grow grew in two directions. So I hope to get all of these uh, bulbs inside of the pot, but it's not even possible anymore, as you can see. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Obviously this one is doing fantastically well. So this one has been treating, quotation marks again, but about four years ago. So after four years you can uh, once they are starting to grow again even though they make some time like the ones we saw just before uh, eventually they will get there if they are healthy and this is one uh, part of the plant the other one is uh, up here because i had to split it but as you can see same story it's it's doing fantastically well and we have already two spikes here and i believe we have even more spikes but uh, yeah it's doing wonderfully well Absolutely beautiful. So, and then very closely to this one is the last one for this video, for the update. Let me try to grab it with one hand. Whoops. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. Now I need to put it somewhere. Let's uh, put it here next to my dendrobiums. And this is the one you will recognize as well. This is the Oncidium George Verbonen. So that's also one in that video. Well, we start off with already a beautiful new um, root there. This one I did up pot about one week ago. So it's the same story, but this one was completely pot bound. Roots were completely taken over the pot. So this one is doing very, very well. You can see the pseudobulbs are beautifully uh, strong and thick 
and they had this one at least, and I think this one as well, I have the same size as the previous one. This one was a little bit smaller, that one was the first one to grow after the, the treatment. And then I decided to uh, grow in two directions with these two bulbs that are now currently each making uh, new growths here and there. So yeah, like I said, I did up on it just uh, recently, so the roots will not be here yet. But um, yeah, this one is doing phenomenal well. This one was the first one that just took off and like never anything had happened to it. And it's doing so well. Uh, one of my videos a few months ago, I was really surprised when I took it out of the pot. Yeah, we, it, there were so many roots. So yeah, this one is doing phenomenally well. And like I said, it lives up here. It's just like the light and you can see it's a little bit slightly purple, but not too much, I believe. So I put it back and it's a living up there. So yeah, this uh, was the update on the Fusarium infected plants. Um, like I said, I will put it in this same playlist as my last video. So it's a nice update uh, uh, over a year period of time. So I think that's, uh, that's great to see. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, you may want to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if you have any questions or I did forget something, please let me know and I will explain more. And um, yeah, for now, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at uh, one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.